Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, one really quick thing. Um, I know I haven't been posting videos here a lot lately. I just had a lot going on and whatnot. And, but uh, one thing that I wanted to do was I was in the middle of this project. Um, and that was taking an old laptop charger. This one just happens to be a 65-watt HP charger. Um, basically, what I'm trying to do is convert this and slap on an XT60 connector. Um, so I started digging into this and I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna record this just in case anybody's looking to do this because a lot of chargers are gonna need a power supply or they don't have a power supply. Uh, one of my main drivers I've been using is uh, this ISDT uh, 608 AC. Um, the one thing that I really like about this one is the fact that it has the power supply uh, built right into it. Um, so you can also use this thing as a pass-through so you can run your see the lighting here is bad so you can all run your battery into here um, to provide power and then charge some of your you know smaller batteries um, so one thing I wanted to do was go ahead because I have other chargers here um, and battery checkers but they don't have power supplies um, and pretty much everybody has old laptops you know um, laptop chargers they're not using so one of the things I want to do was hey let's uh you know slap this thing together and see what uh see what we can do if we can get this to to power up um yeah this one is an 8 19 volt let me see yeah 18.5 volt uh hp charger 65 watts so should be uh pretty easy to use and i'll show you here you know basically what we got going on um a lot of these chargers here or uh you know just the power supplies they'll actually have um a layout of how the pinout is so this one happens to be right here to show you what the pins are um i know what these hps a good majority of them and other laptop brands here sold in the u.s um what we're looking for is the outer post is going to be our ground and then the center one is going to be that's just the inner portion ring here is the power supply um, so you have a ground power. There's also a blue one in here. That one is to the center pin. That's just a regulating pin. We don't need to use that. Um, so basically what I did was I pulled this apart to verify it. I can see this black wire going up into that ground. And then we can see over here, where did I find it? I had to pull it apart and dig for it. And then this white wire, which is kind of botched up, is running to this inner post here. Uh, so what I'm going to do, now that I've verified it, I'm just going to cut this off. And then uh, we'll pull those back. So, do that right now. Let my knife go. So this one's actually different. That outer looks to be, unless there's an inner wire in there. I'm gonna have to dig into this thing and find out, see if I can expose some wires. All right, so I did some messing around. And I was able to test this whole mess up here. Um, and I just wanna show you guys what I did really quick so I can finalize this video. Um, obviously with the old laptop charger, to uh, make a power supply. So uh, what I did was I actually put on the wrong one because this one will actually just fit in here and that's what we don't want. We actually need this type. Uh, come on, dome charger. There we go. All right. Yeah, so we actually need something. We need the male end to fit into here, um, which is not going to work uh, with this. Um, so I am going to have to swap this over. Uh, I did put this together. I did test it. Um, it did work. was putting out the 19 volts that it does say. Um, so I'd say that this is a success, uh, that this will work. So yeah, you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, you know, I can try and help out as best I can. All chargers are different. So, but hey, you know, for what it's worth, let me know. Yes, I'm out of eyes trying to put me on a t-shirt
Shorty want me so bad, do you need